Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. We're doing videos again, and uh, if you've been watching my Facebook page, I've been putting up hundreds and hundreds of AI car designs, and uh, we've been doing it now since, I think, November of last year, so it's almost like eight or nine months or so, maybe ten months, I don't know. This was one particular AI car. I'll put this picture up, and this is what I've been using to sculpt this, what you see here before us. And it started out as, this is another one, I'll be talking about that in a minute. That's a pine that I got from a, a wooden box that uh, we did this big architectural job and the, the brass stock was tubing was in the box. So we had like two or three boxes and, and they're really nice pine boards. So I says, Wait, what's so funny? They, you were laughing like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these nice pine boards, and uh, I've got a planer, wood planer. Planed them, glued them up like this one. And uh, in this case here, there was a center core that we glued up. And then I had to account for this, so these had a little bit of a relief in them. I couldn't make it sculpted exactly the way I wanted it, but it saved a lot of grinding. So once I had the pine... And I counted for the uh, cockpit area here. So now I've got a potential of making a really nice model with full features on it. And uh, this one has a really exceptionally nice windshield, a lot of really cool trim with uh, a, a screen on the side of the hood and a really nice looking grill and cool bumpers. All that stuff we can make and add it to this model. But what a uh, first thing to, you have to accomplish is to get the model as close as possible as the uh, picture. And uh, I've been agonizing over that, and I've probably been working on this thing for, like, I don't know, a couple months now. But that doesn't mean I've been working on a couple months continuous. That means, like, an hour here, one night, and three nights later, another hour. And uh, a lot of Bondo on, a lot of Bondo off. Uh, but I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty good sculptor and I got this side the way I want it. There's a few little defects, little divots I got to fill up. Before building this, I was going to do it in clay, but I said, well, do it in clay is going to limit me because the clay is so subject to being easily destroyed by somebody putting a thumb in it or something. This is a super solid model. So then once I started building, I says, damn, I can, I can make flexible shape patterns off. It's my flexible shape pattern system, and I can make actually aluminum panels, and I can make an aluminum model of this as well. And I have a lot of uh, scrap brass around. I can make a brass one. So aluminum, brass, and also this one will get all detailed out with all the little trimmings and everything. And a lot of that stuff can be 3D printed now. And the purpose of this also is we're going to scan it. And now we can make this full size. So if we get a commission to build it full size, or uh, I, I can actually uh, afford to build it myself here in the shop, which it takes a lot of time to build one of these cars. They, you know, We're talking building the chassis, getting a, a, a drivetrain for it, either new or used, and rebuilding the drivetrain if it's used. So there's a ton of time creating the, uh, a dashboard and floors and, and all the interior bits and everything it takes a lot of time. So this is a beautiful, beautiful design. I've never seen fenders like this. I've been watching or looking at every imaginable collector car picture in the last 61 years of, of being in the collector car business. And I've never seen fenders peak like this. And it took me about six tries to get these the way I wanted them on this left side. So now I got to get the symmetry and I got to get the right side dialed in, which still is yet to be done. Uh, I think I got the proportions pretty good. I've got the surfaces to clean up a little bit with those divots and stuff. And this is one way. So you can make an awesome model. And this is a low dollar affair. I think I've, I've got uh, a gallon and a half of Bondo total that I've used. Of course, most of it gets turned into dust. The wood was for free and it was 27 bucks for a, a gallon of... Uh, glue for gluing up the wood and uh, I'll probably have maybe 40 maybe 50 hours in it it's a spectacular model and it'll also give me the ability like I said to make that brass one and aluminum one 
And these will all have value that I can sell, and then they're beautiful little collector pieces. I just think that this, uh, if you've been watching my Facebook page, I've posted, like I said, I, I'm probably up to close to 1,000 designs now. I've created like 300,000 300, designs to make 1,000 keepers. And of the 1,000, I probably really like maybe three or 400 that are exceptional. And they are exceptional. They're as good as anything in the past. They're only 2D currently, so I have to go through all these other processes to get a 3D interpretation. You have to dope out what's the back end going to look like. So you have to be able to design the back end. You have to scale it and uh, proportion it properly, and then you have to surface it properly. So there's a lot of skill sets, but anybody wanting to jump in on this, you can do an existing collector car, and there's, there's literally hundreds of beautiful designs that have been done in the past you could do the same thing too. But what appealed to me is that this is totally new. And everybody likes new, especially if it has a, uh, uh, a hint of the past with it. And this is like a late 30s French design. Could be a Talbot Lago, could be a Delahaye, probably a Fagoni Falashi design. Um, there was other three or four other uh, French designers that did similar designs like this. So... Also, we are doing AI Alpha, which we've been on a three-month three hiatus of because we had this big, giant architectural job, which was blocking our view where we were going to uh, film it and pr progress with it. So the AI uh, Alpha, uh, what I did on that is I came up with this little drawing, and I did the same thing for this. I had to do a little profile drawing, and that profile drawing I cut out uh, this one I copied onto tracing paper and then made a, a cardboard pattern. And this is the slug here of the pine. Again, we planed it all up and glued it all up. Now, this one is a coupe, whereas that is an open car. So we'll have to grind like crazy. It's all right if we grind too much because we can fill it again back with, with Bondo. So we've got to sculpt this. That AI Alpha, and Mark will put a picture up of that, we didn't have... Uh, the back end design. We don't know what it's going to look like. So this is one way of how to develop a 2D picture into a 3D object that you can utilize both to make the model or to make the entire car. Now there's other ways of doing this. Um, there might be a software now that you can use. I'm not aware of it. That will turn a 2D co uh, cop drawing into a 3D object. I haven't been able to find one. People have said, oh, try this, try that, but I haven't been able to find one that works. So uh, I'm intrigued with probably about a dozen of the cars that I've designed with the mid-journey. And now another way of doing it is what we did with the, the uh, AI Alpha design is we started making this wire form. So I had that picture printed out over here on the right side. And um, I had it printed out at Staples, and it, the the uh, colors are not good. They're they're uh, fading really bad. But I just needed it for that's the only picture we have. And this was all done by eye, bending the wire and then tacking it together with a MIG welder. And we're going to be getting on that probably in a couple days, and, and we'll be posting more videos on the series building this AI Alpha wire form. So that's one way of doing it. Building the model is another way of doing it. And then you can also do this. This is another AI design that uh, I generated. And I sketched this out quickly. And there's a, there's a few mistakes in it. But that's a starting point to take. This was a uh, right front or left front three-quarter view of the original AI design picture. Mark will put that into this video. And I interpreted the side view. So I have this drawing board, and I can make multiple copies uh, and project this up and get a top view. We get the, the design with a rear end, which we have no idea what it looks like. We have the front view. So I'll get a front view, a rear view, a top view, and the side view. And you're way ahead of the game when you do that. So that can be uh, anybody that's good with a CAD system like SolidWorks or any of the other. There's like a half a dozen CAD systems. 
they can take those drawings and that will make it really easy for them to convert it into a 3D design. But unless you can do that yourself, you're going to have to uh, farm that job out to uh, somebody that's really competent in CAD design that can do that for you. And then once they get the CAD model, then you can blow it up full scale. You can make a, uh, you can 3D print a model with it. Uh, you can build the entire car. You can cut out a wood buck if you prefer a wood buck. Or you can make lines that would, you can follow with the wires and bend your wires and make a nice wire form. So uh, you've got uh, the, the straight to wire form by eye. You have the model that you sculpt from a, a simple drawing. And then you have this method here, which would develop all the views all by uh, manually sketching them out. And I'll use, I have a series of sweeps. I can use the sweeps to get my lines really nice and stuff. This was all freehand, but I can, I can, I, I know how to do a pretty good drawing. Or you can send it out to a CAD guy, and he can interpret it as well. When he interprets uh, uh, the 2D drawing into the 3D object, he's got to make all those aesthetic decisions, and I prefer to do them myself. They might be really masterful at it, but it's not going to be inexpensive. This is just time if you want to do it. So I hope I inspired you. Let's get building some really cool original designs. Scale models. You can make them inexpensively or you can even make your own full-size car. Walk down that path and you will never regret it. Thanks for watching. It's Ray Shaleen from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts.